Hi, I just thought I'd do a video on all of the things that I have online in regards to the blog because there are a lot of people who watch my video blog and they don't know that I have a website, a blog website. They don't know that I have a community forum. They don't know that I have a Twitter account. They don't know that I have a Flickr photo account. They don't know this. They don't know that. So I thought I'd try and cover it all very briefly here. So here we go. Um, I do a video blog, obviously, and it is centered on YouTube. YouTube is my YouTube account. EV blog is where I host all my HD video from. Even if I, even on the blog website, I use the embedded YouTube video. So please subscribe to my YouTube account. EEV blog. As you can see, I've got 33,133 subscribers, eight and a half million views. So I'd like to consolidate all my stats in here. Now, on this main, on my main page here, which is youtube.com slash user slash EEV blog, up the top there, you'll notice that I have a bunch of playlists as well. Now, I've got different categories of different playlists. There's product reviews and teardowns, multimeter reviews, electronics tutorials, soldering stuff, all sorts of things, you name it. I try and categorize all of those different uh, videos into different playlists. So if you like a specific type of video and you don't want to wade through the 400 odd videos I've done, you can go just to the playlist on my YouTube account or you can browse the videos one by one in terms of uploads here. Now, you can comment on my YouTube channel and I do read them, but I don't really reply there at all. And this, by the way, folks, is not a search box. I get people typing in things into here thinking it's a search box. It's not. It's a comment post box. Eh, it's how YouTube works. It's pretty annoying. But if you want to search my channel, you can do it up here in this box. So if you wanted to search for, say, PSU, it'll search for all of the videos on my YouTube account or search through all 400 plus of them and find all the ones with the mention of PSU. Now, if you want to see my videos first, as soon as I release them, you have to subscribe to my channel and you can get an email announcement to do that. It's an option there in somewhere where you, I don't know, go in there, you'll find it. And there's an option to get an email automatically when I release, upload a new video to YouTube. And if you wonder how people comment five seconds after me uploading the video, that's how they do it, because they get an email alert. And you can do that for anyone's uh, YouTube account, not just mine. And down the right-hand side here, I've got a whole bunch of links to all the various other online activities that I have. And these are the ones I'm going to talk about, but they're all highlighted here. And by the way, I do have a second uh, channel. It's called EEV Blog Random Frequency. There it is. And um, mainly uh, personal uh, home videos and uh, stuff like that. But occasionally, um, you know, I might upload some canyoning videos. But I've done one there with a Co-Red Power Supply follow-up, for example. Sagan playing with his first oscilloscope there. And, you know, various quadcopter stuff and various other things. So occasionally there's some sort of on-topic stuff there if you want to follow it. And yes, for those who subscribe via YouTube, I do actually have a proper website, eevblog.com. You'd be surprised a lot of people don't realize. And this is the other place which uh, people follow me as well. This is the main website where I have all my advertising. I post uh, individual, I post each uh, YouTube video here. I have a list of all the episodes. So you can go up here to this episodes list and you can take a look at that. And it contains the uh, last 10 YouTube videos down here, but it also contains a chronological list of every single video I've ever done right back to number one, as well as um, some of the uh, off-topic ones and live shows and things like that are all listed separately. And if you want to look at the live shows, they're there as well. And uh, I have an EEV blog wiki. So if you go to wiki here it's uh, one that you can edit as well it's got a whole bunch of resources you know component manufacturers enclosure manufacturers all sorts of stuff like that so it's well worth checking out the EV blog wiki wiki for links and you can add it add stuff yourself now a lot of people ask where can I buy your t-shirts well I've only got a couple of them but you can get them evlog.com slash slash merch and this page has a link to my Zazzle 
store here and here's me wearing my various shirts that you can buy and by the way you don't have to buy the specific uh, color or uh, shape you can actually modify that to whatever you want and some are high price some are reasonably low price but they're all through my Zazzle store I don't make much on that I only make a couple of bucks per t-shirt now if you're wondering how I actually make a full-time living from this thing I'll show you how it's these um, AdSense ads here which are overlaid on my YouTube videos these sort of annoying pop-up ones that you can uh, close and click and also these sidebar ones I I'm a YouTube partner and I make money from those YouTube uh, ads so I hope you don't find them too annoying but um, that's not the majority of my income the majority of my income comes from the uh, direct uh, sponsorship advertising on my EV blog website and here they are down the side supporters of the EV blog Instrumart uh, fine chips um, we've got uh, Battelle we've got Rigo we've got Sailey we've got Cleverscope all sorts of things tequipment.net Freetronics eWeb uh, and Imona so please support them that that support me and no, if you buy something directly through one of the links here let's say you bought an oscilloscope from uh, Imona, for example, I don't get a cut of that. They just pay a fixed price monthly um, advertising fee to advertise on my website. But if you want to buy stuff, and if you regularly buy stuff from Amazon, go to my Amazon link up here, and I have an Amazon store with some choice products on there, but you don't have to buy those products. I've actually got a search bar down the side here, and if you type in anything in there, go through it, I get a there it is, a 6% commission. So if you want to uh, donate to the blog and you don't want to donate money directly and you're always buying stuff from Amazon, then, or Amazon US at least, do it through this link, please. And I get a 6% commission and doesn't cost you a cent. Beauty. And I also have a forum sponsor because, yes, look, this is a biggie eevblog.com slash forum. I mention it all the time at the end of my videos. There's a link at the end of the video and people still say, oh, where's the forum? I don't know about the forum. Oh, goodness. Man, wake up. It's hard to miss. This is a massive um, electronics community forum. It's one of the biggest on the internet now and the stats are absolutely incredible. There's um, like over 260 posts per day or something. So if you look, here are the uh, guests, here are what well, are users, the 356 guests and 96 users that have been active in the last 60 minutes. And there's a whole bunch of them. G'day, everyone on the EV blog forum. And it's not just about the EV blog videos, it's about anything you want in electronics, really. There's some really smart people on this forum. And the best way to ask a question, please do not ask me directly I do not have time unfortunately to answer everyone's technical inquiries you'll get a much faster and a much better response if you join the forum and you post the question there it's free to browse you don't have to uh, join to browse through but look at general chat there's 62,000 posts in there and as I said there's like a 250 to 300 posts per day Ugh, have a hard time keeping up but if you ask a question in here, in one of the uh, choice topics here, in one of the suitable topics, I haven't got too many, but if you want to ask in there, no doubt someone will know the answer to your question, and pretty quickly. So check out the EEV blog forum. It's the place to be. Trust me. And the forum has an exclusive sponsor as well in finechips.com. They've got this big uh, bar up the top. You'll occasionally see um, contests or uh, links to specific uh, data sheets or parts or uh, something like that. And they have a dedicated fine bar uh, down the bottom. You can just type in a part number you want, 1060TR. Let's try that. Search. And... It will search for all the parts from the various suppliers. Mouser, DigiKey tell you the price across all these vendors. It's a great service. Please check it out and please support them because they support the community forum. Now, if you want to keep up to date on everything that I'm doing and everything that I'm saying when I get new stuff and what I'm working on, I will usually talk about it on my Twitter account. I'm a big tweeter. Twitter.com uh, slash eevblog 
is my Twitter username. And I'm posting probably on average like a couple of times a day. And if I get a new product in or I'm working on a project or something like that, I find something in the garbage room, I'll tweet a photo of it. And I tweet, uh, it's not always on topic stuff. Some of it's uh, off topic. It might be political. It might just be a rant or something like that. But I'm very active on Twitter. So that is the best place to follow me on a day-to-day basis and see what I'm up to. And yes, grown, I am on Facebook. Facebook.com slash EVlog. I don't use Facebook myself, so please don't ask any questions on there. I don't, sorry, I don't read the comments and posts on there at all because I'm not a user of Facebook. But a lot of people are and they want to get my video. So every time I upload a video, it's automatically um, uploaded to my Facebook account. If you want to follow me that way. Now, on my main website here, eevblog.com, I have a link to the RSS feed and if you want to follow the podcast version of my video you can do that through here and that actually uses uh, FeedBurner so you can use any RSS version of the video you want and I uh, actually render a specific um, 640 by uh, 360 resolution version of the video just for my podcast uh, viewers, you can do it iPhone, iPad, eh, whatever, or a PC-based or um, Android-based RSS reader, however you want to do it. But uh, there's a quite a, there's like a few thousand people who actually follow me that way. They don't watch me on YouTube. They watch me via the podcast feed. And if you want a sneaky little backdoor into where I store my podcast video files, it's not on YouTube and it's not on iTunes. It's on my own server, evblog.com. Org, which is uh, separate to my uh, main website and forum uh, dedicated server because so I've got a um, very high speed, high performance, high price dedicated server just for the forum and the blog website, evblog.org slash video. So if you go in there and there's a list of all of my podcast video files in, it was in uh, 480 by 270, but I've recently changed to 640 by 360 so you can just right click on those and save them if you want to do it manually and if you want to take a look at uh, the high res teardown photos that I do and just other photos in general I'll upload them to my Flickr account flickr.com slash photos slash eevblog is the username and look here's the latest Rigold DSA Spectrum Analyzer Teardown and there's all my raw photos that I took while I was tearing down the product, product and they're available in full resolution And yes, I am on Google Plus for those who care, but I don't really use it very often at all. I might occasionally do a live hangout or something like that, but I do have a Google Plus account. I don't even know how the bloody URLs on the stupid thing works. And a lot of my viewers don't know that I actually also have a weekly electronics radio show. It's a podcast radio show, the biggest one on the planet. It's called The Amp Hour. Go to theampower.com. It's a one-hour weekly show. I uh, co-host with Chris Gamble in the US. He's a fellow blogger. And we get together for one hour once a week, occasionally with some uh, big-name special guests. And we record a one-hour electronics show. It's off the cuff, exactly like my uh, video blog, and it's a whole lot of fun, and it's got many, many thousands of listeners. It's great. Check it out. The Amp Hour. And a lot of people ask, where can I buy your microcurrent and other stuff? Well, I actually have a shop here. Now, at the moment, I am only uh, selling directly to Australian customers, but I have um, distributors in other countries. I dis- and the links are on here. I also distribute f- through um, Artifruit in the US and I distribute through Singapore Robotic um, in Singapore and the Asia Pacific region. And uh, shortly I should have a distributor in Germany for all you EU uh, viewers as well. And if you want a quick link on uh, how to contact me and how to donate and uh, support me and stuff like that, go to evblog.com slash about. It's that tab up the top there. And that's got an introduction, the various ways that you can support, support me through the shop, Amazon and merchandise and donate. It's also got a donate um, thing down the bottom as well. In fact, there's a page for uh, donations. So that's over here if you want to donate. If you don't, that's cool too. So um, that also has my email address on it if you really need to email me. But as I said, um, 
you know, look, I tell you here, I get 17,000 video views per day every single day of the year, regardless of if I upload new content. And that means I get a lot of email and a lot of comments. And I do try and read every single one of the comments on both the blog website and on uh, YouTube as well. Yes, I know I'm a fool. I do try and read them all, even the bad ones. But if I don't have time to reply, I'm sorry. So serious emails only, please. There's my email address. And if you want to send me stuff directly for the mailbag segment, there's my address as well. Borkham Hills, BC. P.O. Box 7949, Borkham Hills, New South Wales, 2153. Australia, not Austria. And yes, I foolishly do try to read every single one of my YouTube comments. Here's all the unread ones I haven't read yet. And the YouTube comment system is a pain in the ass. Look, I can go in and I can read each one of them across all my videos. So it's not like I have to go into each and every one of my uh, 400 odd videos and uh, try to keep up to date with comments. They are chronologically available here. But look, YouTube is so retarded. It does not have a reply button. If I wanted to reply, look, somebody's commented, did you nail them up? Well, we'll put them up. From my old acoustic sound panels, there's no reply button. So I've got to go over to here, go open up a new page, go into the comments, find it. Sometimes it's not there, Sometimes if it's like right down the list, and then actually reply to it. In there, I've got to find each one. So it is actually quite difficult and time-consuming to reply to YouTube comments, not just for me, but for every other um, YouTuber out there that you follow. So if somebody, you know, doesn't reply to your comment, ah, oh, sorry. And if you've got a cool video or you want to do a specific follow-up video to any of my videos, please do it as a video response. Look, I've got none at the moment, so please, if you want to uh, be part of my YouTube channel, you can send a direct video response and I'll definitely accept it even if it's a negative response. And at the end of a video, when I say, please give me a big thumbs up, I'm really sorry, only referring to the people on the subscribers on YouTube, because there's a like button here, which you can click. And that really does help a lot. So if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And that uh, helps, you know, snowball the rankings inside YouTube. So um, I get more and more popular and the videos get higher and higher up in the search engine and please do comment on YouTube because that helps a lot and I do read every one of them and I respond a lot um, to the YouTube comments. It does take a lot of my time each week to do that but I like to stay engaged. So um, yeah, even though I don't say don't send me a personal question, by all means uh, put a question if you want in one of the YouTube comments and I'll usually see it and I'll try and respond if I possibly can. And if you want to know where I keep my project information, I'm now going to keep it on evblog.com slash projects. This uh, tab up here, I've got my microcurrent, micro supply, and micro ruler. And uh, when I um, have the files available for release, they will be there. But I also have an older uh, website. I'm trying. I'm going to try and uh, transfer some of the projects across. It's alternate zone dot com slash electronics it's a very old website i don't maintain it anymore but it's still there and a lot of my old projects are down the side here as well as a bit more info so if you want to check out my very old site no comments on it please yes i know it looks shit but there is some info there on a lot of the projects i've had published in electronics australia and silicon chip and there is a lot of people also who uh, follow via eevlog.com. That's where they see the videos. And you can comment on individual videos as well. So if we go into an individual video there, there's all comments down there. So if you want to uh, comment and contribute that way, please feel free to do it if you prefer that. So there you go. Um, I know this wasn't a very uh, quick video because there was a lot of stuff to cover there. But anyway, that's most of my online activity if you want to check it out so please no more where can i buy your t-shirt where can i buy the microcurrent where can i you know ask questions stuff like that it's all there just look for it <laughs> catch you next time